So now we're going to be going over what's actually occurring within the PCR reaction. So we're going to see, we're going to start off with our PEG, FP, and one plasmid. And our goal is to only amplify this EGFP gene segment. And so here I have the EGFP gene. And so it's actually this entire segment here. Um, and it is in the circular form, but I did split it up into two different strands. And so we see that on the other side of this segment, and on this side, is the continuous um, strand of the rest of the EGFP and one plasmid. And so in order to start off our PCR reaction, we're going to firstly increase the temperature to about 95 degrees Celsius. And so during this step, we see that this increase in temperature is going to slightly denature the double strands um, within, this, um, within this plasmid. And so we see that once the DNA has been slightly separated, we're then going to want to decrease the temperature to about 60 degrees Celsius. And so during the decrease of this temperature, we're going to see that the primaries that we added are going to be able to anneal to sites that are on both ends of the EGFP gene. For example, our forward primer is going to bind to one site of the EGFP gene, and the reverse primer will be able to bind to the other side of the EGFP gene. And so these primers are going to flank the EGFP gene at both sites. And we're going to see the reason we want them to flank the EGFP gene is so that we can only amplify everything between the segments, and therefore only amplify the EGFP gene. And so in order to do that, again, we're going to want to increase the temperature to about 72 degrees Celsius. Um, and this step is known as elongation. And so during this process, we see that this temperature is ideal for this enzyme known as vent polymerase to work. And so vent polymerase is going to basically help assemble clones of this EGFP gene by running along between the sites of the, plas of the primers. And it's going to be using DNTPs to build complementary segments. So we see that polymerase is going to run along this side all the way until it reaches the other primer. And through that, we're going to get clones and many amplified EGFP gene products. And so because of that, we're going to see that through this PCR process, we're going to get an expansion of this EGFP gene.